Hello book team, hello friends, welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books, I'm Elizabeth and I'm going to do a different type of video right now. I'm going to do a quick tutorial and show you that use Windows Movie Maker how to put your voice over your pictures when you want to show photos of book covers in your videos. I used to not know how to do this. I wanted to be able to put a picture of a book in the frame with me like a lot of people do, but unfortunately with Windows Movie Maker, I don't think there's any way to do that. But you can add photos to your video and you can put voice over and talk about the books that you're showing in your photos. But a lot of people don't know how to do that. And I've noticed several booktubers that I follow who do show us pictures of books and there's just five seconds of blank airspace while that photo is up. And I figured maybe they just didn't know how to do it. And I thought I would just show you how. So this is something that I have figured out on my own. I'm basically self-taught. When I started my channel five years ago, I didn't know the first thing about editing, filming, anything, uploading. I mean, I was scared to death. And a friend of mine told me that I could use Windows Movie Maker to edit. And my husband sat down with me initially and we figured it out together. And then I was on my own. He has not helped me since then. And I have just been able to figure out how to do this. Now, I only edit with Windows Movie Maker when I use this really old camera, and this is really on its last leg, but whenever I do need to put photos of books into my videos, I use this camera. It takes an SD card, and so I know how to plug that into my computer, and then I load it onto Windows Movie Maker. And I'm able to do major edits and add photos of books or any other photos that I might want to do. Now, I do sometimes film on my phone, which is what I'm filming on right now. And I am learning how to use Video Shop slowly but surely. But I don't know how to add photos or anything like that. So that's a whole different thing. And I'm still watching tutorials myself to try to learn how to do video shop better. However, I'm sure that some of you are like me and you are using Windows Movie Maker and maybe you would like to learn how to put your voice under photos of books. So this video is gonna be for those of you who already know how to put book images in your file and are in, you add, it's called a collection. You add it to your collection and I know that some of you know how to do that because I've seen your videos and I see how you take a book cover and you pull it down into your into your movie here and then you let that play. And so here's what that looks like. And You'll be she's got a sequel coming out to Fried Green Tomatoes. And then there's five seconds of the image. And then Wonder Boy of here you go Stop. with it's the rest of the video. Now, what I want to suggest to you is that you go ahead when you're filming and you film it exactly like you would if you were holding the book in your hand. And then what you do is you go ahead and edit your video. So I have already finished the editing process of this whole video and I've already pulled all of the images that I needed for the video into the collections. And so now I have already at this point, I have identified which segments of my movie that I want to use for my voiceover and it's this small segment here and this one and then what I'm gonna do is first just estimate how many seconds that I'm gonna need of my image right now I have 10 seconds I'm probably gonna need about 15 seconds so there I have pulled the image into the screen three times and then see this um, see this row right here where it says audio and music? That is where you're going to pull the actual video down into audio and music. So I take my clip that shows me talking 
and I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to put it at the beginning of the first image. And then I already know I need this segment too. So I'm going to pull it down. So basically what I did was I took the image here and I pulled it down under the photo. So now this may work out just about right where I don't even have to trim it. I'm going to click back on the image because a lot of times there will be more image than audio and then you're just going to trim it. So then I usually start back a little bit and I just watch and I, I watch how it's going to, got a sequel coming out to transition. It's called Wonder Boy of Whistle Stop. It's so there I have my, birthday, my so voiceover. I've alerted my family to that fact. While I am showing you the picture of the book. Late October that and here is where I'm seeing it. The other so there was still a tiny favorite, little bit of blank space. So, that this book will so you just get to about now. where... Um, about there and then I'm gonna go up here to clip and I'm gonna just clip off the very end of that image so that now I can go back and I'm gonna to listen to the transition and see how it goes to late October that this book will be coming out the other author and there you have it a smooth transition all right so let's do one more now I already know that I need my next picture to be one segment over and I am going to I'm going to need it a little bit more because what I said about this next book is a little bit longer than what I said about the previous one so I'm going to go ahead and pull four down now I'm just going to take these next three segments and I'm going to drag them down underneath and it might actually work out just about right. Or I might need, now it looks like I might need one more image, but let's look at it and see. And it's such a fantastic series that I cannot wait till that book comes out. Then my other top okay, author... Okay, that worked out actually pretty well, better than I expected. Sometimes if you have more audio than you have image, and then you, you play it back through, then your audio will overlap. And all you do in that case is just pull one more picture down and then clip it wherever you need to by using clip up here. Sorry, you can see it up here the, by using clip. Okay, so um, I didn't need that though and I had a really smooth transition. So I can either drag this back up there or I can just click on the back button and that will undo my last edit and I will go from there. One thing I think it's helpful to do before you start moving your images down into your timeline is to first separate out the clips that you know you're going to put under your picture. For instance, this clip here is more than what I want to put under my picture. So I've already paused the film right at the point where I want to split it. So I'm going to go up here to clip and I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click split and that way I have separated this segment that I want to put under my picture. Now I failed to mention earlier so I want to do one more picture and be sure that I also tell you this. I think it's much easier to put your image to the left of whatever clip you're going to move. If you put it on the right and then you move your clip to the right, it doesn't line up perfectly. So it's just trickier to do. So I'm pretty sure that this is the clip where I want to start. So let me just double check. The book is... Yes. So I like to split my timeline, split my film right where I am going to tell you the title of the book. Sometimes I tend to get kind of wordy and I have a lot to say leading up to a book and I generally don't show what the book is until I get to the point where I say the book is called and so here I'm going to drag a picture and I believe there were three segments that I'm going to put under this one so I'm gonna go ahead and drag 
about 20 seconds of photo and then I'm going to take the first one and put it there and take the next one right up against it and then the last one there and it looks like this is the the picture is going to hang over just a little bit. Now, if I leave it just like it is, the bottom one is highlighted. And I want to click on the picture to make sure the picture is what's highlighted because that's what I actually want to clip. And so let's just push play and get it to the part where we need to clip. I just thought it was very well told. It's such a good book. I, really I like to get it to the point where I can see the edge of the audio clip because if you do it before then it will sometimes overlap so I think that's about right it's right on the edge let's do clip and end okay then always 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 go back and play it and make sure it looks like you want it to look whether I would like it and I ended up really enjoying it the book is Playing Atari with Saddam Hussein by Jennifer Roy and Ali Fadil. This is Ali's story of growing up. Now, one thing you can Iraq do if you have a lot to say about one particular on book, Kuwait. you might and show it, it first and do a short a voice book. audio really clip under it. The 90s. Yeah, let's see, hang on a minute. Let me go back and hear that again. And I just thought it was very well told. It's such a good book. I really enjoyed I, it. Lived okay, did you hear that? It it um it was too close. So I'm going to undo the last one and I'm gonna just play it now and see. I just thought it was very well told. It's such a good book. I really enjoyed it. I lived through the night. Okay, it does need to be trimmed, but not quite as much as what I trimmed. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I like to just keep playing with it until it's exactly how I want it. I just thought it was very well told. It's such a good book. I really, really enjoyed it. Okay. I went just a fraction over. Now I can see the line of the audio clip. And so now I'm going to hit clip and end. And I think it's going to be better now. Let's see now. And I just thought it was very well told. It's such a good book. I really enjoyed it. I lived through the 90s. All right, it's not perfect, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, really so there you have it. That is how you put an audio clip underneath a photo using Windows Movie Maker. Now, one other quick thing I want to add that will just make life easier. Be sure you do your editing before you put your pictures in and move your audio clips down to the second column because if you don't let's say I need to edit something out of this clip that's ahead of of this bunch of pictures here so let's say I'm going to go over here and I'm going to edit something out I don't even think you and would have to let's say I'm going to just clip out a segment the handmaid's tale to and so now I have clipped out a segment and look what happened over here. My, my video moved, but my audio clips stayed where they were. So if I were to take out several segments here, these are going to be all out of whack and I'm going to have to go back in and move them to the correct place. So just be sure that you try to get your editing done ahead of time. It's not the end of the world if you have to go back and take something out of the beginning, but it will cause you a few more headaches. So now I will put that back in, <laughs> lest you worry. And now by just reversing that last um, edit, now everything is back where it should be. This is my mid-year freakout tag video, which will be going up before the video tutorial that I am filming at this moment. And so if you're interested in seeing it, I hope that you will come back and visit my channel and watch this video and others as well. So, so there you have it. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you are having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.